Greetings strangers, Platinum Gamer here. This is the third video of Let's Play Maple Story where I am showing you the journey of my character from the very beginning. In this video I will be covering crossbow man skills and also the very first themed dungeon. A themed dungeon is a number of quests within a certain area of the game. They offer some cool rewards, plenty of meso and also spell traces which are used to scroll your equipment to make it stronger. But let's talk about the skills first. The very first thing that is quite cool of a crossbow man is its rangefinder skill. When attacking nearby enemies, it increases your ignore defense rate, and when you attack enemies from far away, it increases your total damage. You also get your very first mobbing skill, which is called Iron Arrow. The downside is that it only works in a straight line, but it is the only decent attacking skill that a crossbow man gets. Net Toss is also another attacking skill which reduces the speed of the monster that it was used on. You also get some nice supportive skills, a crossbow booster which increases the speed of your attacks and soul arrow which increases your damage and allows you to attack without using up arrows. Crossbow mastery is the skill that you'll need the most as it increases the weapon's mastery and accuracy. Final attack is another cool passive skill which grants you a chance to deal additional damage after an attack. And the last skill is physical training which improves your strength and dex permanently. The quests in LNL aren't that difficult really. They mostly focus on collecting items and killing monsters. First few quests will ask you to kill the slimes around the area and collect the necessary items. Later on you'll move on to the Elenil Academy. You'll then have to go and collect a book that went missing. Follow on from that you'll have to collect 20 pieces of paper dropped by the fairies in the map before the entrance to the academy. Last few quests will require you to collect notes from the flying books. You'll then have to open the note until you find the information necessary to complete the quest. Just be on the lookout for the blue writing after you open the note. In one of the quests you'll be moved back to Alinea where you'll have to speak to three different NPCs in order to progress with the questline. Lastly, the quests will ask you to defeat a certain number of monsters and then the boss of the theme dungeon. There are also two bonus quests where you'll have to kill 60 onion mobs and 60 turnip mobs and defeat the boss of the theme dungeon five times. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to check back soon for more videos.